Alrighty guys, today I'm going to be replacing the thermal compound on the EVGA the GTX 670 4GB edition, super clocked. I've had this card for well over two years and uh, she's overheating and it's time to replace the TIM. So, I've never done this before on this particular card. So please wish me luck. Now this particular card has a back plate, as you can see, and I'm going to go ahead and start removing all the screws. Now one thing to note guys, I have like a little thing to hold all your screws as these are tiny. And again please note this is not a tutorial or a guide or anything, I'm just going to be doing it myself just to do it because it's overheating. So I'm not a professional in any way, but well, please don't take my replacing of Tim as a guide in case you, know, you guys do it on your own. There's plenty of more guides out there on YouTube that do a much better job on step by step and things like that. So. There you go guys. Now I'm going to be doing this on two cards. I'll be doing it on two GTX 670s. Let's see. So far there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these little screws I think that hold the back plate in place. If I'm not mistaken. Nope. The GPU also is held in place. I don't know if I have to take any of the screws on the side here. No, it doesn't look like it. I have to. So again, I'm sure you guys know how to remove the heat sinks, you know, in a crisscross pattern. Again, sorry if my phone is going crazy. Just posted something on Facebook that's kind of controversial. So. It's kind of funny. They posted that I'm going to replace in the Tim with uh, thermal adhesive. And come on, guys. You know not to do that. That's meant for heat sinks like RAM heat sinks and whatnot. It's not meant for a GPU or CPU. So. Okay. Feels like. It looks like it's about to come off. Feels like it. I think I need to remove this little one right here. Wow, it just came right off. You know how usually it takes a bit to remove <laughs> go heat sink is removed very simple with a plain PCB which is a small PCB very tiny. Now I could see the stock heatsink here for the VRM. It looks like it could be replaced. Probably something a little bit more beefier here. Um, oh again, this is really, really tiny. Again, it came off with ease, uh, indicating that um, I think the thermal paste itself has been dried out for some time. Now, the back plate seems to be still on there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could peel it up. I'm not going to. Screw that madness. Here is a stock blower type uh, heat sink. Now, I'm not going to be taking it all apart. That thermal heat, heat sink is really shitty. So, I'm going to go ahead and clean her on up. I'm 
what I'm going to be using is 99.9% .9 of isopropyl alcohol. I got this at my local uh, store. I got it at Fry's, which is like 10 minutes from me. So I'm going to be using this stuff, which is ridiculously overpriced at Fry's. It's fucking assholes. It's $8.99 for this fucking bottle. Ridiculous when I could get 91%. Like at Walmart for 99 cents. But everyone's saying, you know, use 99.9%, .9%, which is true, which I always do anyways. But I ran out a long time ago, so I'm using this fresh, fresh bottle. I gotta say, this thermal compound is cleaning off like nothing. It's summertime right now, guys. I guess you can see here how hot it is inside my room. It's fucking hot. It gets even hotter. It gets upwards of 38 degrees in here centigrade Celsius. So, give you an idea how hot it gets in my room. As you can see now, the clear GPU right there, the chip. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean off the heat sink, the stock one. Again, using 99.9% .9 of isopropyl alcohol. And man, does she clean up good. It just comes right off. Again, I'm pretty sure it is all fucking dried right up. Okay, just make sure you clean up all the, the whole thermal paste off. You know, all you guys know how to do all that. There we go, it looks like it's a freshly clean. Again, I should have said this at the beginning to ground yourself prior to working with electric components. I'm sure all you guys know that. I'm wearing an antiseptic wristband. I wear it on my wrist because I'm cool like that and it's gay. So that's why I do it. It's a joke, guys. It's a joke. And now cream of the crop. I'll be replacing the Tim with IC Diamond 24 karat thermal compound. I guess this is a very controversial compound as I've been asking people back and forth on Facebook what they recommend to replace the Tim on a GPU possibly slash uh, CPU GPU. You know what I mean. To replace it on a GPU. Now Everyone's saying this stuff is really abrasive and it will scratch the fuck out of your die GPU chip. Now, uh, I don't know, you know, people say yes, people say no, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fucking uh, replace my Tim with it and see what, what happens. So, I have nothing to lose. I mean, well, except for the graphics card. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. You know, once you wiped out the dye and the, and the block clean, um, I got some of this stuff. Not, I just got the microfiber cloth that's in the back of this package, which is right here. Then I'm just going to wipe it to make sure I don't have anything else um, left on the CPU dye. So I, that's why I bought the kit. I didn't buy it for any other reason but that. a quick little wipe that should be good I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna clean up this one more time just because I'm cool like that just gonna make sure nothing is left on this block quick little final wipe block is all clean 100% 
I'm going to go ahead and apply the Tim, which I'm going to do a spreading on it because, uh, like I said, this shit is so hard. It won't stick. So there's a little pee amount right there. And I'm going to go ahead and spread it with this stuff. Well, this shit don't want to fucking spread. Well, there you have it guys, after fucking like 15-20 minutes of trying to spread it all around, there it is, as best I can do it, this stuff does not want to spread whatsoever. I got a little bit on the sides of the, of the, CP, of the GPU right here, but it's no big deal because it is non-conductive and all that stuff, so I'm not like tripping on that like everybody would fucking trip balls about it. So I'm going to go ahead and put the top back on, the heat sink itself back on. And uh, whoop, make sure it goes on properly. Well, you know what? I'm going to put it like so instead. Now again, like everyone says, be very careful putting back you don't want to move around a lot there you go connect to the fan back on that's connected take that wire away it should take on its own and carefully realign everything and I'm just gonna go ahead and just fucking drop it I mean I'm kind of scared but oh I moved a little no big deal there that's all I did. It's back on. I'm going to go ahead and start reapplying all the screws. And again, on a clockwork style, like clockwork orange. You guys, anybody out there that's cool, has ever seen that movie? It's a fucking awesome movie. There we go. Go ahead and speed it up here. Well, there you have it, guys. I just replaced the thermal paste on the EVGA GTX 674 Gigabyte Super Collect Edition. And uh, she's all ready to go. Now, I'll be posting uh, another video on um, the performance of the EVGA GTX 670 with the new IC Diamond thermal paste applied. I already have screenshots of uh, the temperatures. So. I'll be comparing it with that. So there you go guys. I have another card to do. I'm going to go ahead and do that one off camera. Or maybe, you know, you know what? I'll go ahead and leave that on there and I'll just do a speed shot through it. So let's do it.
Well, there you go guys, I just finished uh, replacing the TIM on the two GTX G uh, 670 4GB Super Clock Editions with IC Diamond. So, thank you guys for watching, hopefully uh, it doesn't fuck up my die, like people said it's scratching it, um, it's really abrasive, it was a fucking nightmare to spread, it's the worst spreading uh, pace I've ever done. Uh, people said to go ahead and heat it up in warm water for two minutes or whatever and dip it in there in a bag and it's easier to spread out. Yeah, but fuck it. I, I didn't want to do that. Or I just didn't do it, but whatever. So, um, but it did spread. Uh, finally, uh, not really, but I did my best. Um, so, let's see how it performs. Thank you for watching and uh, please like the video if you liked it. Please dislike the video if you disliked it. Please leave a comment in the description below. Tell me what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have done anything like this. Replace your Tim and what have you used. Anybody have any experience with Icy Diamond? Um, good or bad? Uh, please let me know. Uh, again, thank you for watching and please subscribe.